Amid the fallout from the Wagner uprising at the weekend, the Russian attack forces faced multiple threats along a 125-mile section of the front, with Ukrainian forces making the ground around Bakhmut. After canceling his troops' march for justice towards Moscow, mercenary warlord Yevgeny Prigozhin is expected to go into exile in Belarus as part of a deal that pulled Russia and Vladimir Putin back from the brink of potential disaster. As the world watched a brief armed uprising unfold, many questioned whether Ukraine would take advantage of the chaos and step up its counterattack. The British Ministry of Defense said Ukraine had received a boost in its offensive around Bakhmut. In a multi-brigade operation, Ukrainian forces had made advances on the northern and southern flanks of the city. He also said Ukrainian troops had recaptured other settlements previously held by Russia on the southern front and urged them to press on. Today, heavy fighting continues in Ukraine with 46 clashes taking place in three directions on the front. In the Bakhmut direction, the 77th Separate Airborne Brigade managed to destroy a field depot with Russian ammunition and eliminate eight Russian troops there. Ukraine's Aerial Reconnaissance Unit also released drone footage showing an attack onto Russian tanks near Bakhmut. The video captures a section of Ukraine's M3 International Highway, which is about 13 kilometers northwest of the center of Bakhmut, near the village of Orokovo Vasilivka. Footage also shown by the Ukrainian army appears to show Ukrainian gunners chasing a Russian tank that was trying to escape and hide in vegetation when it was detonated in an explosion. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense said that at the moment Avdiiv direction was the hottest in defense, 15 enemy attacks were repulsed near Mary. At the same time, he noted that it is not yet time to announce how many meters or kilometers Ukraine has won. Such information will be published if necessary. During the day, the Ukrainian armed forces also launched an assault on the strategically important village of Berkovka, located on the Bakhmut side. According to the Russian Spring military correspondent, an armored group of the 57th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces suddenly broke through the first line of defense and entered a strategically important residential area. After the Ukrainian troops broke through the defenses, they were met with the counterattack. As a result of the battle, part of the Russian troops was destroyed. At this time, hostilities continued on the outskirts of the village, where fierce fighting took place. According to military correspondents, active artillery activity was observed. There was heavy artillery fire from both sides. The tense situation in the Berkovka area continues to escalate. The Ukrainian military, seeking to seize Bakhmut, directed their efforts to break through the flank lines and take strategic heights that would allow Ukrainian forces to control the situation around the town. To date, the Ukrainian defense forces have eliminated around 229,660 Russian invaders, while another 790 people were killed in the past day. According to Russian media, the Ukrainian armed forces also attacked the bridgehead near the Ananovsky Bridge. Heavy fighting was going on. On the territory of the Alyosky settlement, intense hostilities continued. According to the latest information, the commander of our unit was injured as a result of shelling by the enemy, reported by Igor Strokov. According to information, after the commander was injured, the Russian troops were forced to withdraw from under the bridge which is now controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces. The battle took place under continuous fire from the enemy from the high bank of the Dnieper, which complicated the situation at the front. The situation in the area remains tense, active hostilities are underway. Russian troops continue to defend themselves, despite the difficulties and intense pressure from the Ukrainian armed forces. Russian media also reported that the armed forces of Ukraine actively started evacuating the damaged Bradley infantry fighting vehicle and Leopard tank, which were damaged during the battle. For this purpose, repair and recovery vehicles both Ukrainian-made and equipment delivered by the West are massively involved. This is evidenced by the video footage of the operation in which the Ukrainian military tries to remove the Bradley infantry fighting vehicle damaged during the battle. 
It should be noted that the United States is actively providing these vehicles to the Ukrainian military to strengthen their offensive potential. Meanwhile, the Russian Ministry of Defense claims that Russian troops repelled the counter-offensive operations of Ukrainian troops in the Bakhmut area and along the Avdiivka Donetsk city front. According to Russian sources, it was carried out into other sectors of the front in southern Ukraine, where they said troops made small gains, which are still unconfirmed. On the same day, Russian officials and sources celebrated the claimed victory over the small-scale Ukrainian landing in eastern Kherson Oblast, an exaggerated compliment indicating that the Russian military command either genuinely feared Ukrainian attack on the eastern edge of Kherson Oblast or that it urgently needed information victory after the Wagner Group harmed uprising. Russian sources claim that the Ukrainian operation is currently being carried out with smaller infantry groups and fewer armored vehicles than before. Russia also said Ukraine was not currently attempting a large-scale counter-offensive operation aimed at quickly retaking territory from Russia. Ukraine's estimates of Russian losses between July 1 and May 2 be slightly exaggerated, according to experts, but independent data shows that Russia has suffered heavy losses since the start of the invasion and continues to lose equipment to Ukraine.